first week, <laughs> it was like, Jesus Christ. I couldn't because when they saw me in the school, they felt like they come visit somebody and go, you know. <laughs> but then class had to start, so um, I died. My security died. When are they going? They said, oh, where can I go? You know, they agree. So I could do lectures, then them to the day they back there. Then they add to the class. <laughs> so we're just trying to find our way in this whole school situation. So God willing, we managed the first semester clock. I said, okay. Second semester clock, okay. Level 300, I said, ah, okay, they go with that. I almost gave up. I I almost, because every time I'm throwing tantrums to my wife, I'm like, tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it. Why, why? No, real stuff. So sometimes, it's like a sad moment or some, you know, downside for some two, three hours. They are waiting, come on, I say, Empress, hey, the school, you're a doctor. They go, smile small, and I say, I tell you, you're going to be doing it, you're going to be shaking, I say, give me hype. And I go, uh, when I had to push my toes and reroute my calendar to be able to fit the school timing, was one of the toughest things to do. Believe you me, like when people say that they go through depression, I believe them so much because I felt that, like, I was like, apart from everything, like, thinking about, look, I would be on set, I'll be shooting music video, the next three days I have to be in Ghana just because I have to write um, a test or an exam. So it was, it was really interfering with my with my work. Sometimes, you know, say what well, we get some gigs, we forgo collect them. Then they say, the dean say, eh. ah. Bro, from airport, you look at my back, say my back, and I come. Then my classmates say, ah, now do you receive from New York yesterday? I say, yeah, but I need a wife for red. So, Whilst I was doing all of that, I was also getting inspired the more. Because when I look at the facials or the face, the facial expression of some of my, my mates, it was like, wow. So that way I know they make me feel like Superman. So I say, yeah, 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 yeah. Then I say, then we manage. But you, believe you me, like, things that inspired me were some of the things that some of these lectures professors would say. They'd be like, huh, oh. So I know that okay, the head still no gone. It's still there. So we managed, went through. So I'm actually picking up an award for the best project work this night. Same way. You know, I guess we got a long story short. The moment that I felt it that I I would have pat myself on the back was when I put up the biggest show in Ghana yet at the stadium. During that period, I was writing my last papers. The stadium show was a Friday. I was writing my last paper on a Thursday. So I was rehearsing, learning, planning at the same time. And still were able to deliver a good show. When I closed the All-African Games at the Lagos Stadium, the entourage had to come and pick me out of an exams. Immediately I finished. So when I was writing it, you hear some sirens, so I just want to thank, I know this is going to go far, thank the lecturers, the administration and the management of GIMPA, 60 years old, is an institution that grows professional uh, practitioners when it comes to covenants, that is a premier school, and then they added all the other courses, so I think I am, I can be very proud of myself, knowing me, I'm always pushing for you know, the next level or so. These are the things that I went through, you know, aside helping some of my mates to pay their fees, etc. you know. One of them didn't make it for the graduation. I asked of him the whole time. And I'm sure that he didn't reach out because he felt like it is too much, you know, but he, I'm actually sad. Like, I, he, could, he, could, he could have reached out one more time Hey, because we go through that thing, I don't mean now where you go shy. So I'm just grateful to God because I know this is going to inspire a lot of people who look up to us, not only me, who look up to us, the musicians. You know, this is going to change the narrative and make them know that we may come from the streets, 
We belong to the street, the street belongs to us, but we have mentalities of running the streets so that we don't leave the running and the management of the streets to just some people who cannot relate to the streets. You know? So I know that sooner or later, look at, look at Bolare now. Bolare, next year he's becoming a doctor in books. And you know, he's, a, <laughs> he's, a, he's one of our fathers on the streets, you know, taking us through, making sure people hear our music and also. They've always inspired us, and we are also here to inspire the people behind us and even inspire ourselves the more. So, thank you guys for coming. I know it's been a long speech. I love you guys.